yeah, if you've enjoyed this content, make sure to follow this channel. Subscribe if you like it enough. We play Warcraft 3 here pretty much daily. There's some teamfight tactics at the start of the stream. YouTube.com slash Witty Warcraft. Hope you have a nice day. Sunken Cross TD. Prevent the creeps from reaching the other side of your lane. Use your builder to create towers, then create a rune type to upgrade them. Type cam in game to get a better view. So build towers and then use runes. We're all advanced here. It's fine. So we got a building here, got a thingamajig here. That costs wood. I don't know the rest. We're quite spaced out. There's a tower blueprint and a rune. Oh my goodness, allow the construction of rune of light. Let's see then. I think you have to build the tower on the rune. No, maybe not. Rune of light, brilliant tower, paralysis. I'm gonna build like... No, wait. What the hell? Let's just put a tower down and see what it lets me do. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'll just make sure I put down some stuff. Penguins. Many, many penguins. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get through this first part without dying. So that's nice. It's always the first objective when you play a tower defense you've never played. Just try to get past level one, which is why I just built things basically. Before I could really have a time to take a look at it all. Rune of fire. What about light and fire? How about that? You got this thing that costs wood. I've chosen to hunt the Draenei. I hope that wasn't a mistake. Nope, that was a mistake. It's up to you, <laughs> Oopsie, to get the kill. Did you get him? That big corpse looks like you might have done it. Yeah, you captured it. Nice one. need the other runes, but I'm not sure when you get access to those other runes. Have you got some sort of gold thing going on? Oopsie. So how do you get a score? Because I got a score of 648. The only thing I leaked, I think, was that Draenei. You killed my boss. That was it. You swine. How long have we got to wait until we can get the next room? I'll just get these for the time being because I can't wait all day. Help me. Help me. 
Why don't you return the favour, Lipsy? And send a Drenai my way. Teamwork. And scratch your back, you scratch mine. You you killed yours too fast. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe. Help me. Help you. I think I'm gonna go around this corner point. I was thinking about sort of like going all the way around and doing some sort of spiral thing. A bit like what Red's doing, but I'm actually just gonna go around this corner part. And make some strong towers in this position here. I can sort of reach all the way out. Eventually anyway. Just in case. Hey guys, how's it going? Alaska Airlines, thank you Chicago very much there for the sub. He sent one but killed it. Unbelievable. So I should be able to kill mine then, shouldn't I? Let's go with the Wraith. This is it now. It's gonna happen. We're gonna kill this Wraith. Nothing's gonna go wrong. I don't think I'm going to kill that ring. I seem to be lacking some form of damage. Didn't actually mean to block. How do you sell? Oh god. You can't sell. Good game, boys. How the hell are you selling this? Yeah, you have to attack your own tower. You owe me, oopsie. You owe me. I'm not sure I like this map. <laughs> yes! Teamwork. I like this map better now. You could probably create the most epic sort of back and forth maze with the space that's being given to you. Just play this in single player, use the cheat code, greed is good, and uh, yeah, try to work out. I think Red's played this before. He's killing them before they even really enter his maze, apart from this one. Don't think I can hold them off much longer.
I can only seem to build like two tower types. You don't get any more food. At least it takes some time before you do. Maybe level 10, but it's no crisis. Hey guys, how's it going? your boy? What's your boy? Hey, Mambo. Mamako. Less than three. Thank you very much there for the less than three. This has got a holy aura, so I probably want to upgrade this one if I can get it before I'm dead. Legolas is a little try hard. Has Sparta built anything? What happened to Sparta? You're dead, Sparta. So I guess if the creatures reach here, you actually lose lives? I thought they might go to your other player, but you probably just lose lives. Come on, Mr. Aura. 15% attack damage. Where's the damage, though? You might want to go with these stunning. They got a plus one on one damage. That seems pretty efficient. That's double damage, theoretically. I got one extra food. Oh, it's happening. Let's go with some fire. Oh, okay. Some creatures are coming up my way. Oh, yeah, because mine went to yours, didn't they? I want to sell one of these towers and replace it, but there's some million creatures and it's pretty hard. Are you going to let me sell without too much punishment? Aha! I did it. I'm going to upgrade the snake. Right, guys. I'm okay. I can I can leak 15 more and I'm fine. Easy game. This tower actually looks like it's doing something, unlike the other towers that I've built so far. So that's an improvement. Actually looks like it has an effect. This one's got an ability. That does 18 damage to everything in a 500 radius, so that's pretty good. That's probably why. If I can not leak, I'd like to upgrade this tower, to be honest. Oh, that's this auto attack. I see. It's like a breath of fire, is it? What's up with these trees? It's gonna make me leak because I'm now doing damage to his units and not doing damage to the ones that are coming through my maze. Oh no, 10 second upgrade times. Thirty-nine damage now. 
600 radius. That's what we're talking about. That's fully upgraded. Let's concentrate on this tower now. Don't forget to check your quests. I'm kind of scared to start off another one of these because I haven't been able to kill any of them so far. It doesn't tell you how much health it has. Extremely hard to hit physically. Right. Well, I think most of my damage is physical. Apart from the ones that seem to do one-to-one -one damage. So that doesn't seem like a good boss to try. This will slowly decay buildings to rubble. So you're going to want to kill him quickly. So having a super long maze wouldn't be good versus that guy. I'm coming up in the points. Why am I going up in the points? I'm bad. Perhaps those were tactical leaks and they had allowed me to be in a position where I could get more points. Oh, this can do a maximum of 1736. That's Breath of Fire for you. This pattern actually seems to work quite well for what this is doing. Like, because they're going back and forth staggering, they're in good positions for Breath of Fires to be pretty efficient by the looks of it. Always seems to be hitting a good chunk of targets. How comes you having a hard time? Looks. Was it all those towers that got killed? I don't know why they did that. Seems like a big move. Red went with a maze that I was going to try to do, but then I decided to start to maze around, because that's when I spa spawned the Draenei and I wanted to slow him down, but it was too late by that point. Blue's got one of the simplest mazes I think I've ever seen in existence. Top score, boys. Top score. It's got to be to do with the quality of the towers you got. So I just upgraded another tower. And I'm sure my score just went up. From worst player to best player. Even Legolas, the mighty, has fallen. I like these tower defense maps that have these boss type things though. It's always fun to sort of spawn bosses. But it's hard when you've played this, this is the first time playing it, because you don't know how strong those freaking things are. You have no idea if it's like a good idea to spawn it or not. Can I upgrade the element building? You can actually. Well this one you can. Unfortunately, it becomes an actual tower with range. I thought it was just um, a structure that you produce your units from, like your tower builders from. I didn't think it actually acted as a tower itself because it's in a bad position. Maybe I can destroy it and rebuild. I'm sure this won't go wrong. Oh no, it's invulnerable, never mind. Scrap that pretty hard to destroy something that's invulnerable. I think we might be dead soon. Oh no, Loopsy's dead. Loopsy. Loopsy. <laughs> you spawned the boss. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. So I'm going to get all of your leaks and then a boss on top of that. That's if I can even kill this stuff. I've got to upgrade something else. This tower seems awesome. So I'm going to get another one of those in a moment. The hotkey... Yeah, two. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to get another one further down here. And then I'm going to extend the maze. 
I'll just go simple. We need to make the most of that 15, 600 radius. <laughs> it's hard to build. Because they don't want me to build. They want to keep getting spawns like, never stop spawning. Kind of hope that aura stacks. If not, I'll just have to do. I don't know what the hell that means. Is actually cancel all of that. Just keep it simple because it's getting it's too messy at the moment. I might be able to kill that boss. If I focus it with this tower or something. Oh, I don't think I'm going to kill that boss. He keeps getting confused and going back up on himself. He's probably going to attack me soon. I'm so close to killing him. Oh, come on. going to be like that, is it? I think we go on this. I got another tower thingy I can build. Let's try to put it in a better position. Let's get some water up in here. Did it build? There we go. It needs a wave tower that's strong and a frozen tower that's strong. So they get your wave tower. I assume it's these two. And we'll just keep upgrading those. <gasps> okay. I think the real question is, is why am I so good at this map? That's a good point. Since the food towers are invulnerable, could you not just blo block with those? I suppose you could. Unless there's air or something, or it turns them into air units. The peak level of viewers is probably close to about 300 or so. It used to be closer to 500, but it's summertime, and no one likes me, so it's gone down. get this I'm gonna spawn that boss again we're gonna do it I'm gonna right the wrongs of the past as much focus on this boss as possible when he comes round Oh, that was nice. That Breath of Fire did some damage. Man, I've got this map on lock. Am I the last one left? Why am I so good? First time, boys. 
Why did you have to say that, Lumi? I got through the whole stream without anyone saying that. These are tanky. They're like little mini-bosses, aren't they? They're a bunch of bosses. Surely I'm going to leak one of them. In fact, I might leak more. Get him, boys. No, never mind. How many can I leak before I die? Still alive. No! One life! Alright. I'm down to zero lives. We're okay! I'm team beta. Not alpha. Any other bosses I can try? Maybe this dude. Plus one food supply sounds pretty good to me. I might wait if there's a bigger gap after these creatures. See how we get on. Gotta kind of judge it, see how strong they are. If they look like they're gonna die quite easily, then I can probably get away with going for it. I mean, they are dying before they've got to, like, the inner layer, so... Yeah, I think you should be able to get away with that. I'm gonna upgrade this thing next one I can. Because, obviously, I screwed up with those two. What do you mean our town is under attack? Don't start attacking my town again. That's because this guy's... Oh, he's got the aura, doesn't he? Do I have something that can repair? Oh, shit. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, we're killing him, though. Towers, they regenerate health, so we should be okay. Next guy says he's the commander of the siege forces for the Legion. Sarkimon. Highly increase the armor of nearby units, so you want to sort of send him off when they're not too busy. You can actually upgrade this, so may as well just keep spending gold on this for the time being. I've got another one I can build, but... I might try to max out this dude, because he seems pretty damn good. That icy blast is nice. I mean, Frost Nova is always good. Yeah. Be honest, did you think I was going to be the last one left out of everyone here? I bet you didn't. If you're being honest. It was that tactical leak I did earlier on with the Draenei that put me in a position where I can win. It's smack bang in the middle because I've sort of learnt what this does now. So I decided to put it in a slightly better posi position than those two. All it needs is one leak though. I'm getting close to doubling the next player in points. Samka says, dude, you inspired me to play Warcraft 3. I watched like everything on YouTube, but I never got to catch a stream. Thank you, dude. It means a lot. Oh, thank you very much for the kind words. 
I mean, there's uh, in Warcraft 3, you get so much value out of this game, it's ridiculous. Even if you never logged online, you can just play all these games in single player. Just put them into your maps and download folder and just go nuts. Tower defenses, all that kind of stuff. I don't know how many levels there are. I'll check the quest again. Right. Okay. Now we know. I've got to work out which towers are my good ones so I can have them hotkeyed. Ooh, hotkey. I did already do that, actually. I've learned that from Farm TV. Put specific towers onto hotkeys so you can focus bosses a little bit more efficiently. There's got to be quite a lot of levels because it goes up to 60 wood, this guy. I can even build even more of these runes. But I want a hailstone tower. One more frost nova for luck. I mean, this map I just found by logging onto Battle.net and just joining it. Someone else hosted it. Uh, are you going to cast that Icy Blast? Have I got to do that manually? That's, that's not as good, is it? Have I got to do it manually? Oh, good. It's doing it also. I mean, that is the ultimate water tower. So I should probably just get that. Legolas says he's sad he mazed a bit wrong. Thought it was a team TD and the units would come from the top, but they came from the bottom. Yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know what the hell was going on. I just knew that I needed to build a bunch of towers, because if you don't do something like that, you're just going to leak and die anyway. It looks like I've got a good hole that I might be in a position. I think it's worth trying to go for that sort of greedy position. If you think you can kill them and not leak, then just store up that gold and get the more expensive towers. If you're definitely going to leak, then I'd have to build another one of these rooms, like the magical pod or whatever, and start upgrading the towers that are more cheaper. Sam said, I ended up beating that random ability tower defense on nightmare mode. I grind the hell out of those only sucks on farm TV. No achievement points if you play solo. What you need to do is you need to go onto Battle.net, create custom game, and host the map, and you can play it solo there. As long as the map is hosted online, you can still play it in your own spare time. Look at that pool of blood. It makes it really hard to see the definition. Miss. No one likes Miss. These characters have got evasion. Getting enough wood soon to try that boss, but could get me killed. But on theory, I'm strong. In theory, I'm strong. Yeah, I seem to have a, a good mix of physical damage and spell damage, which helps. Right, over halfway there for the avalanche tower. It's so good it's in capital letters. It's such a shame I screwed up with these, but I can kind of bypass them by just building the other ones and upgrading those instead in the better positions, because it seems like such a waste to upgrade these in that position. You can't rebuild it. I think I might go for it. Thirty nine K health. They've got three thousand health, so he's got over ten times their health. So gotta get some focus on these bad boys. 
See if we can get past my frost novas. Yeah, I maybe should have waited until I got the 2k goal, but you don't know until you've done it. Come on, nuke him down, boys. I might still have enough damage to get through these, even if they got increased armor. They get plus 35 armor because of this guy. Jeez. It's very generous, isn't it? But if I keep slowing him down so much, the ones that get, do get past my maze will probably lose their aura. Because I don't know how large that aura is. There you go. So they get a bit of a distance away from him. So just keep him slowed. We're going to have a risky thing in a moment. I'm going to have to upgrade. Come on. It's getting scary. Almost seems like my towers stop attacking him every now and then. Right. Gotta get that avalanche in a moment. And hope that it doesn't take 16 hours to upgrade. Okay, 10 seconds or so isn't too bad. Those tower defense maps, when you upgrade a tower and it takes like a minute. It's like ridiculous. Oh yeah. Let's get that avalanche, boys. Decreases nearby enemy units' movement speed by 27%. Oh, we got another boss type level, which is a bit scary. because I leaked last time to the boss type level. I'm not feeling too confident here. I think these cheeky fellas might get past. I don't really have super hard damage. Yeah, I think I'm going to leak here. It's the end of the world as you know it. It's the end of the world. Hey guys, that's where I'm going. It's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. Nah. <laughs> Shellman, thank you very much there for the sub. Maybe a little bit of greed got me killed there. That was a bit harsh, though, because I didn't know that was going to be one of those boss-type levels. As opposed to the squishier levels. So it spawned the boss level whilst I was still trying to kill that other character. Still, I lived like 15 minutes longer than anyone else in the first game, so that was pretty good. GGG! I'm sure we'll take a look at this map another time in the future. To probably finish it off, but for now that was a fun one.